Hello everyone. Sorry, I'm pretty really loud because I'm standing up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let me find myself on my iPad and hopefully it's going to show me live. Sorry, my hand is in front of the camera, but I gotta try and find myself and hopefully my internet doesn't go down. Oh my god, I'm playing with fire here because our internet has been going down every day around this time. So I'm here. Yay, I'm finally here. Hi, Kylie. Thank you for being here. Oh my gosh. Oh, do this chair. Right, it's going to wait um, for a few more people to know that I'm online because I'm so out of routine this week and it's not 11 o'clock. It's one, not even one yet. But I said I was coming on at one. Hi, Sandy. Thank you for being here. Oh, what a week. So how are you all? Thank you for putting up with my irregularity this week and the craziness that is happening in my house this week. We go from um, having nothing happening to everything happening at the same time. So, and I'm hoping you can hear me okay. I'm trying to work out what's happening with the sound because I have noticed when I've watched the videos back, the replay... Um, it's okay when I'm looking at the camera, but when I flip it around to show you my desktop, um, the sound goes down. So I think that's only since I upgraded to the latest iPhone. So I have to work out um, what is happening with that because, um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's weird. So am I okay or am I a little bit low today? So you've had to turn me up to hear me. Because something is really strange. So, if you're here, <coughs> sorry, jump in, say hello. Let me know that you're watching. And then, um, yeah, I have a few people that are watching, hopefully. Alright, well, I can't be on here long, I'm sorry. Um, I do have something else I need to do at quarter past one. So, but I'm on here and you've got me for like 20 minutes, which should be long enough. Hello, Kathy. Finally, you got me live. Yay! Well done. Yes, yeah, so I apologize. I did not let anyone know about um, not being on today at 11. Hello, Narelle. <clears throat> Lovely to have you here. So is this a better time for people, by the way? Like, is sort of later in the day better for people? I'm pretty flexible. Up till 2 p.m., I'm, I'm pretty... Um, Good. I can do it any time from around 10 to 2, I guess. After that, um, yeah, probably not. Um, but yeah, I didn't remember my doctor's appointment I had this morning until I was sitting on the lounge at like 11.30 last night and went, oh, I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning. I had a look at when it was. Oh, that was really stupid. I made it for quarter past 11. Do you believe that? Oh, my gosh. Oh, dear. So anyway, I thought, okay, in the morning, I'll pop a post up and let you all know that I'll be on later. Okay, so this is where the brain fog comes in and I totally forgot. Anyway, someone messaged me when I was sitting at the doctor's office waiting to go in. Like, when am I going live? And I went, oh, did I not put that post up? Anyway, but I'm here now. So thank you for everyone who has jumped in. And if you're here, say hello, share my video, get the word out. We get more people crafting get inspiration for people so they can use their stash of stuff they got at home that's why i ask you to share so what i'm oh, sorry <laughs> what i was going to do yesterday that didn't happen because the roof restoration people were here with their really noisy machine we'll show you this card and um actually that was i don't know have i actually been on live this week i can't remember it's all off fog now this was the first card i was going to show you guys and this is an alternate use for the Timeless Tidings stamp set. Now, as you know, um, or if you don't know, my product of the week is the Timeless Tidings card kit. Oh, that's right. I was on once, wasn't I? Wednesday. I made up all the cards. Hi, Sue. You found me. Yay, good girl. All right. So my product of the week is the Timeless Tidings card kit. 20 cards. Four different designs, five of each card. They are absolutely stunning. 
on Wednesday's Facebook Live, I showed you how easy these were to make. And I'll just bring them all out, one of each, so that um, you will be reminded of what they look like. And they come with these beautiful gold foil edged envelopes and lined. So there's 10 green lined and 10 um, red lined, so they match the cards. So that's the second one. So they're really easy, easy to do. And my special of the week is if you purchase the project kit, the card kit to make the cards, and the matching stamp set, then um, you get into my virtual party, my virtual Christmas party I'm having for free. And that's going to be lots of fun. So there's the third one. And I'm just trying to find the last one. I've missed one. Wait a minute. Here we go. And the fourth one. All right. So really, really beautiful. Hey, Chrissy. Thank you for being here. Hello, Marlene. Long time, Marlene. All right. So these are the beautiful cards that come in the kit. They're absolutely stunning. Um, and I, they, the um, picture in the catalogue does not do them justice. Like You've got to see the gold foiling and the pictures. They're stunning. When I first saw them in the catalogue, I went, oh, they're a bit dark. I don't know about them. But they are really rich. They are gorgeous. So that's the project kit. And I have a link on my Facebook page for um, purchasing the kit and the stamp set. So the rest of my lives this week was going to be alternate uses for this stamp set. Because a lot of people buy a card kit, they use a stamp set that goes with the card kit, and then they put the stamp set away and don't think to use it again. That's a waste of a stamp set. So I wanted to show you some alternates for using this stamp set. So yesterday's was going to be this one. And I'm not going to demonstrate this one now because it's going to take too long. But I sent... I simply, if I can talk, yeah, they are. They are beautiful, Marlene. Oh, holiday's over and you're back to work. Oh. <laughs> um, so with this one, I have just stamped the holly and the poinsettias just around in a, a rough sort of wreath, I don't know, sort of look, and then stamped a sentiment. And I didn't worry that the sentiment was not in the middle. Then I coloured these with the Stampin' Blends. So in the holiday catalogue, we have Real Red, Stampin' Blends, and Call Me Clover. Are they Call Me Clover? Are they Call, Call Me Clover or Shaded Spruce? Oh, I can't remember now. Um, and I think they're Shaded Spruce. Hang on. Right, so these are the new ones in the catalogue. Uh, Shaded Spruce. Oh, and talking about blends, if anyone's interested, I'm thinking of starting up my blends club again in October. So um, I might put a call out on my page to see who's interested and start that up. It'll be like a, a six month uh, subscription. And by the end of the six months, you'll have a lot of the blends. So um, that's just a thought if people might be interested in that. Julie, hello, you found me, Julie. All right, so that's the card I was meant to do yesterday. So simply just stamp them, coloured them with the blends, added a few of the gold pearls, um, stuck it on some gold foil sheet and then some DSP. Hi Sherry, thank you for joining me. This is another alternate that I made. Now with this one, I've just grabbed a piece of very vanilla cardstock, stamped the poinsettia in cherry cobbler, but I stamped off about four times so that it's a lot paler than your normal colour. And I just stamped that randomly all over that piece of very vanilla. Then I simply stamped the sentiment using our layering ovals framelits, stamped a few more of the poinsettias and the holly leaves separately, and then fussy cut them out. Then, hi Kay, nice to have you here. Um, I used our blender pens which are really cool. Thank you for sharing, Margaret, and good afternoon. Yes, I haven't said good morning yet. <laughs> it's well into the afternoon now. Um, so I used our blender pens to pull in some color from the stamped image and just um, make them slightly colored. So I love using the blender pens. They are a really cool and quick, easy way to get some color on your stamped images. Then just some of our red rhinestones. Um, on the holly leaves for the little 
bauble things. So that's the one I was meant to be demonstrating uh, today. But then I thought I came up with another idea and I wanted to recreate this to some extent. Now I haven't made the sample, I'm going to do it now. So this could be interesting. Thank you for sharing, Margaret. If anyone is um, kind enough to share, please do so because you'll go into the draw for a little prize. And the reason I ask you to share is not, you know, to put myself out there and say, hey, look how good I am, what I, what I can make or get customers or anything like that. It is purely just to help inspire people. So if I get new followers and new orders from it, then also be good. But the reason I ask to share is so that um, your crafty friends can see some more inspiration so that that's why i do it all right so we have cherry cobbler card base then i have some dsp this is from our dashing along host promotion that's on at the moment and that is free paper that you can get if you place an order that's 400 dollars or more now don't freak when i say 400 dollars because it's easy to do if you get your friends together and you accumulate all their orders together and then yeah really quickly you'll get to that 400 and then you get free pack of the DSP and it's 12 by 12 a normal pack of um, our DSP uh, sorry not a normal pack it's the same amount of um, patent paper and the size of all our DSPs and it's only offering for it's only sorry I can't talk it's only for people who place the order of 400 or more oh there you go um, but you can get if you want to host a Christmas party a get together with friends we can do it online or at your place then you can also qualify to get that paper, but it's only available in September. The time is running out. The next thing I have is this piece of white, uh, de uh, sorry, cardstock. <laughs> Got DSP on the brain. It is two and a half inches by five and seven eighths, which is the width of the, actually it might be five and three quarters. It's five and, no, five and seven eighths. All right, so all I'm gonna do is stamp the trees across trying to recreate this card, sort of, in Garden Green, which I got out and now I can't find. My desk is a mess, seriously. All right, Garden Green. Thank you for sharing, Kay. Thank you for sharing, Kathy. Right, so I am going to literally just stamp the trees. I'm gonna do them towards the top because I want to put this stamp along the bottom, the little dotty things, if I can get it straight. And then a Merry Christmas. So, fingers crossed, this is stamping on the fly. And I'm not particularly going to be worried if they're not straight. Well, there you go. There's the first one. Not straight. So, let me just straighten him on the box. Because this one's been um, leaning. The wind's been really strong as that one tree's been growing. So, that's why it's on a lean. So, let's see if it's brothers and sisters can stand the wind a bit more and be straight. Hey, Leonie, thank you for watching. All right, so here we go. Oh, no, they're all going to be on a lean. Oh, it's a really windy wherever these trees are growing. Look, must be near the water on the ocean. All right, so I have just stamped, boom, 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 across the page. Thank you for sharing, Chris, in full strength ink. Now I'm going to stamp off once and stagger them both in placement I don't want them all the same they're all leaning look at that wow you think I could adjust it so now I'm going to stamp off twice and these ones are going to be a little bit higher and I'm just going to fill in so we get lots and lots of trees so just stamping off All right, here we go, that'll do. All right, so now I'm just going to stamp our border in Cherry Cobbler, if I can find the ink pad. Oh, found it. You're sitting in the car waiting on Ronnie. Where's Ronnie? Oh, you had rehab today. So is he annoying you yet? Now he's home all the time because he's retired, Leonie? <laughs> So are you wishing he'd go back to work? <laughs> I hear that happens a lot. 
I'm used to my hubby being around because he was a shift worker. So when he was off shift, he was always there. Um, and now he's not working since we moved. So let me know if I'm off camera because I need to sort of get over the top. Actually, first, let's do Merry Christmas. Don't know where to put my dots. You love having him home. That's good. That's excellent. So you've got a list of um, jobs for him to do around the house. Let's hope this is straight. Everyone got everything crossed? Thank you, Kathy. Yes, it is simple and effective, and I've got that straight. Whoa! Let's celebrate. Right, move the green. I end up with um, green and red dots, which I don't want. Hey, Christy. I think I told you one o'clock, didn't I? Well, I'm sorry. I've been on a little bit because I had to jump on and get off again before quarter past one. You have many jobs. <laughs> Maybe he'll decide that he wants to go back to work. Can I line these up? Fingers crossed. Oh, look at this. It goes just about twice. Oh, how good's that? What a fluke. Yeah, I'm sorry, Christy. I sort of went, oh, I've got to do something quarter past one. So I have to get on and off before then. So there we go. Simple as, really quick. Just going to glue that onto there, but I think I need some red under there. Hey, so let's, let me grab some cherry cobbler. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so this is how I make a lot of my cards. I don't think ahead. <laughs> I go, all right, I'm going to do this. And then, oh, let's do this and let's do that. And, you know, that's how my brain works. Nothing's ever planned. Right, let's cut this. Sorry, I'm probably off camera. I know. But I just want to cut a couple of strips. So they're just going to be quarter of an inch, the same width as the card. Actually, they're half an inch, I lie. All right. Are you going to watch me at home? He's back? Okay. I'll see you later, Leonie. Right, so now, easiest way to do this to get them even is put some tape on the back of your stamped bit. I say, as I don't have the tape out. Actually, no, I'm going to use glue because I want a bit of wiggle room. Right, so you're going to just put glue on the back or on the bottom. You have to go back to work, Marlene. All right. No worries. You have a good day too, darling. And uh, there's always a replay to watch. All right, so we'll just put glue on the back. And then you just place your stamped bit. I made it too long, my red bit. Make sure it's even. And then, because I made it too long, I'm going to have to trim each end, but that's okay. We can do that. And then the same at the top. So I place this piece onto the strip rather than the strip onto the piece because I want to be able to see the same, the distance that I have at the top. So I try and make it at um, the same as the bottom one. If I was to just turn this over and stick my strips on, then invariably they would be a different length and it would look really odd, unless you're aiming for that, of course. All right, so there's our strip and I'm actually going to dimensionalize that. So if I can find my dimensional, that were on my desk, no, let's get a new pack. A new sheet. Oh, they're little ones. I don't want them. Wait. Here we go. You can see, I'm not organised. I came home from the doctors and went, quick, i got to jump on and do a live. <laughs> so thank you, everyone, for being here. I love having you all watching putting up with my craziness 
Now, I'm not even going to attempt to try and make this even top and bottom. I'm just putting it what I think is down the middle and praying that it's straight. Does that look good? Is that straight? I don't think it's straight. But then again, my trees are a bit wonky, hey? So it's going to have to do now because my dimensionals are stuck. I'm hoping that the um, diagonal stripe with the wind-blown trees, no one's going to notice. So that's just dimensional on the front. I saw that, Julie, 34 degrees there. Oh, my gosh. That is ridiculous. See, Sydney, it knows no extremes. It knows sort of no in-between. It's only extremes. It's either really cold or really hot. Hey, Debbie, thank you for joining. And then we have... There we go, a really simple... Christmas card with my windblown trees. So there's three alternates for this wonderful stamp set. So people overlook these stamp sets in the catalogue because they think they only go with the kits, but you can purchase them separately. So don't ever forget that. Um, this is a great one. It's got some lovely, lovely sayings. It's got the normal, the traditional Merry Christmas, but some really nice sentiments you can put in the middle as well or use on the front. And a Happy New Year. So it's got the three um, elements, the, the tree, the poinsettia, and the holly leaves. And there's just three samples that it's popped into my head um, using that stamp set. So that's it, lovely ladies. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Don't forget, the holiday catalogue is live. So um, if you need to place any orders, I'm putting one in tonight. So if you want anything, then please message me with your order. Um, if not, you can always order online. Look out for my registration on my page for my frosted floral, it's hard to say, online class. <laughs> Your first frost stamp set arrived today, Sandy. I saw that it was shipped last night. Oh, that was amazing. I only put the order in early in the week and they are already in people's hands. That is really, really cool. So I'm hoping you love the tutorials from that class, Sandy. I had fun making the projects, so hopefully everyone enjoys making them. Um, yeah, so look out for my Frosted Floral Online class. Registration is still open. Um, in the next week, I'm hoping to get out the Santa's Workshop online class, so look out for that. And also my virtual party. So registration for that is going to close on the 26th of September, so I can get all your goodie bag stuff ordered and sent to you, ready for the night. Uh, what else do I have to say? Oh, it's something else and it's gone. Oh, if you wanted to do a Christmas card swap, I have one in running in my group. There is a link in here. Um, and it will take you... Sorry, there's a link on this page that says join the um, Christmas card swap. Registration for that closes on Friday. And you don't have to join my group if you don't want to. The swap is based in the group, but I have people who've contacted me that um, are not actually on Facebook and have heard about it, and they are joining as well. So if you don't want to be in the group, you don't have to be in the group, but you can still join the share. Just let me know, and I can send you all the details. At the moment, we have 15, I think maybe 16 people in the share. So I'm possibly going to split that up into two, two groups. Because I don't want people to think they have to make 15, 16 cards. That's too many for a lot of people. So I'll probably split it into two groups. You don't have to make as many. So all the details are on my Facebook page. If you have any questions about any of them, then please, please um, message me. What else? Also coming up in October, I have some paper shares going on from the holiday catalogue. Um, I think that's about it for today. So thank you for watching and thank you for sharing. And what's tomorrow? Friday? I might even jump on tomorrow. I don't know now. We'll see. <clears throat> Maybe because I missed yesterday. Maybe I'll do Friday. Don't hold me to it though. <laughs> I may or may not be here. But have a lovely afternoon everyone. And thank you for watching. And if I see you tomorrow, I see you. If not, then I will most likely see you next Tuesday. And have a lovely weekend. Bye, everyone.